Welcome back to another episode, and today we're going to be fishing with the G Loomis NRX. I know, I haven't used this since toward the end of 2019, and this is not the 7-1 medium heavy power fast action that I normally use. It is the 7-1 heavy power fast action. But it's cool because now I can tell you more about this stuff than I could three years ago. And I will also tell you that a lot of people say that a quarter ounce bait weight or tungsten weight is not heavy enough for a medium heavy rod or a heavy power rod, but it is. Was that a bite? Uh-oh. That sure was. That's a big bass. I'm going to the dock with this one. No, sit down. We are not flipping you. Nope, 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 nope. There's a good bass right there. Wow. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at this. His mouth is all messed up, but that's a that's a two and a half or a three pounder all day. Fought so hard on that NRX. Well, would have fought that hard on any ride, but let's get a weight real quick. Good stuff. Didn't take long, first fish of the day. Scales on. You got two pounds. Nope. Oh. You got two pounds, 11 ounces. Now it's 211. He's flopping, but we'll let him go. Oh, yeah, 211. I thought he was bigger. Come on. So, what I did, if it was kind of confusing, is I brought out my G Loomis NRX 7 foot 1 heavy power fast action, like I told you guys about. And I was going to fish with it and talk about it and all that stuff. Is it worth the money? Yeah, it is. Now, I don't want you to think I'm saying that just because I just caught a fish with it. But that was really nice. I can, I'm telling you, I am pulling that plastic right now through these weeds and you can feel it and it is so sensitive that you can feel it pulling through. Now sure, you're using fluorocarbon, you're using tungsten, that's gonna be more sensitive, absolutely, without a doubt. And no, you don't have to have a 500 or a $550 rod, it's not gonna make you better at fishing, it's not gonna make you magically catch fish, but if you are a Shimano and G Loomis freak like me, I've been into this stuff since I was a kid, since I can never remember, my, my parents talking about it, then this is a rod that you will like and will appreciate for the money. Now, some of the cool things, and I wanna tell you about this rod, and no, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not paid to say this, and yes, I did only catch one fish, but hey. We got a seven foot one heavy power fast action, like I told you guys, but you'll see that on the NRX 854C JWR, it says fast heavy. It's it's a heavy power fast action, but that's just how they say it. And it is five sixteenths to three quarters of an ounce, 14 to 20 pound test. Now you will remember that the fishing that I did with the medium heavy in 2017, 18 and 19 with the medium heavy NRX, I liked that rod better for bottom baits. I feel like it was a little bit more sensitive, but I will tell you that this heavy is not 
or excuse me, it's more sensitive than I thought it would be. Normally, I would have taken a Shimano Bantam or an Antares DC or a Metanium. I have all of those reels, and I would have put brand new 20 pound tests on there. Well, I actually just took the Corrado, put it on there. It already has 20 pound sunline, throwing a creature bait, and that first bite was so amazing. I hope I can get another one. But if you're watching this video and you're like, should I buy this rod? Do I have to? Get what you want. I get a lot of questions in the comments from people. Excuse the dock noise. They say, should I buy this? Should I do this? Okay, let me tell you this. I'm not gonna tell you what to buy. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I want you to do what you think is right. I want you to get what is according to your personal preference, what you can afford, what you like. If you wanna spend 20 bucks, you wanna spend 100, 300, 500, be my guest. If you're out there catching fish, if you're serious about it or, or whatever, not serious, just having fun or just setting weird goals, whatever it is, it's up to you. Now. I will recommend the gear that I use because it covers a wide range of prices from low end to mid to high. But don't ever think that when I'm talking to you guys in the comments that that means that, that I'm saying you have to do this because you don't. It's all personal preference in the end. Oh man. That's a real good one. Good work, Joe. Oh, nice work. You're welcome. Not my first rodeo. Oh. That's a that's a, that's a great start. On this. Oh, nice work. <laughs> Great first fish of the day. Now, what would talking about a rod be if I didn't tell you a couple things that I don't like, or at least one thing? You see the hook keeper? That is amazing for a chatterbait, a hook, Texas rig, jig, but I don't like it because the fluorocarbon gets in the way. Not all the time, but once in a while. So anyway, the NRX 854C JWR, heavy power fast action. If I had to pick between this and the medium heavy fast, I would definitely pick the medium heavy fast, but this is also good. And yes, if you do have a heavier moving bait or just something that's a 3 8 or heavier jig, chatter bait, square bill, you can throw it on these rods. I personally like these for bottom contact baits, Texas rigs, tubes, jigs, all that stuff but you can use it as an all-purpose if you want. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about the high-end gear, so I said, hey, why not make a video with it? Talked about it, caught a fish with it at the beginning. I mean, not the greatest, but pretty good for just, what, an hour out here? I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments. Do you have any questions about the NRX medium heavy power fast action or heavy power fast action? 854C JWR, you got any questions? Let me know. I will answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.